Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's online demo recording, Better Together, Integrating SharePoint Functionality into Salesforce. My name is Elizabeth Feldman, and I'll be your host. I work here on the marketing team at Imtech, and I'm really excited to be part of this recording today. I am very pleased to introduce today's presenter and speaker, Mark Voigt. Mark is our SharePoint practice manager here at Imtech, and we're very excited to have him. So with that, I'd like to pass it over to you, Mark. Thanks, Elizabeth. Hi, everybody. This is Mark Boat, the SharePoint Practice Manager at uh, Emtech. We're going to spend just a couple of minutes actually showing you some online demonstrations of SharePoint widgets embedded into Salesforce that compress the UI and the UX together. This is part of a larger presentation that you can also see online, but we broke the demonstration part of it out of that slide presentation just to make it a little bit easier for people to see the demo first, later go back in and look at the presentation. We're going to briefly demonstrate the following pieces of common functionality. The ability to upload and associate Salesforce account files into SharePoint libraries. So we're, it'll look like they're SharePoint libraries in the Salesforce user interface. We'll do a couple of uploads. You'll see how we can associate files with in SharePoint libraries with accounts uh, inside Salesforce very nicely. You're going to see a canned query that shows you all SharePoint news articles with condition red, orange, or yellow. That'll make more sense when you see the demo, but it shows the ability to do canned queries from Salesforce into SharePoint and back again so people can see what's going on inside SharePoint without ever having to leave the Salesforce user interface. Lastly, the cool one, we're going to do a dynamic search of SharePoint for documents from inside Salesforce, and you're going to see the release one of our functionality. That said, I'm going to squeeze this out of the way. Here is our mock SharePoint environment. It's a, an, a SharePoint 2013 on-premise environment hosted in Georgia on a single virtual machine meant to represent a corporate intranet being populated and maintained by a lot of people who are good at SharePoint and understandably not good at Salesforce. They get to do what they're good at, and the Salesforce guys get to do what they're good at. We're going to see that there are some news and announcements here that are coded red, yellow, and orange. It would be great if this information can simply be made available inside Salesforce without the Salesforce users having to lift a finger. That's one thing we're going to demonstrate. We're also going to see that there are some files in here that are accessible via search inside Salesforce. And lastly, inside the CRM documents library here, you're going to see information being stored in SharePoint but linked and available inside the Salesforce user interface. Let's go take a look at Salesforce. Here's a very typical page. Uh, we've got home, chatter, campaigns, leads, accounts, contacts, etc. All the stuff you're used to seeing with maybe one exception. We've got a SharePoint search tab on here that we'll look at shortly. But also we've got some very cool looking, very, very Salesforce looking widgets on the page which are in fact providing some of that functionality. We've got a recent intranet news query. This was actually, as the page was loading, the Salesforce code underneath was touching an intermediate gateway server that in turn was touching the SharePoint environment, providing a query that says, get me all of the news articles you can find that are coded red, orange, or yellow, and come back and sort them. So everything that you saw listed inside this particular news and announcements list was picked up, except for the green, was picked up and available inside this particular web part. The Salesforce user never had to go into SharePoint to see the functionality. They get to put their hand on the pulse of the company without going into SharePoint. So that's demo number one. Demo number two, let's go look at libraries. If I go into the account section, if I go and pick a particular account, Grand Hotels and Resorts, instead of seeing just the normal user interface that tells me account details, etc., we've also got a very nice looking SharePoint widget that actually is a link back into SharePoint. I can see that for Grand Hotels and Resorts, I've got a PPTX, I've got a folder for opportunities, documents, etc. Let's go and actually upload another file that is going to be related to SharePoint, uh, to Grand Hotels and Resorts, but it's actually going to be stored in SharePoint. I'll first hit the Browse button. I'll go down into, let's say, I've got this particular document. Look for Vulcan Mexico RFP. I've selected that document while I'm still inside this account. Now I'm in Salesforce. I'll choose to upload it to this folder. 
we can see that the upload is actually happening so that through the Salesforce interface, I'm actually moving a file into SharePoint and we can see that it's associated here. Let's go take a peek. Back inside the actual portal itself, if I go down into CRM documents, if I go underneath opportunity, if I actually hit refresh rather, I'm going to wait for it to do a refresh and back out. We see Grand Hotels and Resorts. If I go inside Grand Hotels and Resorts, I actually see Vulcan, Mexico. So the file has actually been uploaded inside SharePoint, but it's available in a very intuitive manner as a Salesforce widget inside the account detail page for Grand Hotels and Resorts. All of the other functionality, adds, changes, deletes, etc., are also available. So that if I select this file, I could actually go and see it or download it look at it, anything that I want, but also I could just sit and say I want to delete it. And if I delete the file from inside this user interface, inside Salesforce, we can see the deleting in progress. And it's going to finish loading and adjusting the page. If I go back inside here, I'll break the CRM out as a separate tab to make it display a little faster. If we go into accounts, if we go into Grand Hotels again, we'll see that that file is now gone. On top of that, if we go back and look here, we see MV test document inside Grand Hotels, that account in Salesforce. If I go back inside SharePoint, if I go back inside SharePoint and actually remove this document called MV test document, and it says, do you want to remove it? I've removed it from SharePoint land. Give it a second to delete. And it's gone. If I go back inside Grand Hotels and I actually do a refresh on this page, we're looking to see that this MV test document is now going to disappear because this is a dynamic uh, connection between the SharePoint library functionality and the widget that exists inside uh, Salesforce. So now we've seen a canned query widget that tells us what's going on inside SharePoint without having to go there. We've seen SharePoint library widgets. Let's go and actually do a SharePoint search from inside Salesforce. We've built uh, initially, this is release one, release two is going to integrate a custom results page. But right now, let's say that if I was back inside SharePoint and I knew that there was something here called with the word flyer in it that's in a library, I can actually go and search for the word flyer, hit search in SharePoint, and what's happening now is that Salesforce was accessing the REST API, searching SharePoint and coming back with search results. And here's the file. So not only can I search content that's available inside Salesforce itself, actually hosted in Salesforce, but now you can see that we can actually touch all of the content that's inside SharePoint. We can look for it based on keywords. And with the, the query web part that you saw, we can actually look for other properties. This was actually looking for news items where the condition was not equal to green. We have all of that functionality that's available. Let's jump back into our slide presentation because the next big question anybody is going to ask is, so what? What we've learned is that UI, UX consolidation, a term that MTech has coined, will only increase in importance because your employees are spending more and more business time on tablet and you are either going to be helping them leverage that time effectively or you're going to be helping them waste that time. The choice is yours and you will be making one of those choices whether you intend to or not. Some other benefits of UI UX consolidation are ease of use, ease of training, increased efficiency in the staff on both sides of the integration, um, reduced software installation footprint, people only have to have installed what they actually need, and ultimately a streamlined process. If you want to learn more, it's actually quite easy. You can browse to several of our video presentations on YouTube. Here's the following URL. On SlideShare, here's actually the slide deck that was a part of uh, a couple of recent conferences that include this demonstration. Lastly, if you want to request a live demo of this integration for your team, we'd be happy to do so. Feel free to email us at information at mtechinc.com. Thanks again for watching.
This now concludes today's online demonstration with our SharePoint session, Better Together, Integrating SharePoint Functionality in the Salesforce. Big thanks to Mark today for your time and expertise. As a reminder, this demo was representing of not current clients that belong to Imtech. This was just a current mock demo environment. To request further details or to arrange your complimentary evaluation, please email us at information at Have a great day.